I'm Tucker Richardson. I'm a senior sociology major on the Colgate men's basketball team. During quarantine at the end of my sophomore year when everything, the world kind of went crazy, me and my best friend from Colgate, who was my roommate freshman year, we started a podcast called Nerd Ball during that quarantine and yeah, it kind of took off from there. We were really interested in it and it's something that we've always kind of talked about and then when quarantine hit and we were both home without much to do like most people, we kind of thought it was the perfect time to try and do something like that. So we just brainstormed and thought of you know, what we wanted to talk about. He's really into basketball statistics and obviously I'm around basketball. It was a podcast mainly about basketball, but we wanted to incorporate some statistical elements into it because a big part of basketball, especially nowadays, is the statistics and um, everything that goes into it off the court. Because it was nerd ball, Simon, who's more into the statistics, would go through each player and go through his statistics on whatever it would be, Ken Palm or whatever the sites are, whereas I would come through more of like a basketball point of view. Tucker's personality, I think, fits perfectly into podcasting. His balance with his co-host is very interesting because Simon is a more analytical person and Tucker, as a basketball player, has a better like feel for the game, so his eye test when evaluating players. I think that the feedback was great. I think, especially because people like seeing I think athletes and, and younger people doing something kind of entrepreneurial. So people were really excited about it. Especially, I remember like on Twitter, the first couple episodes, I got a lot of likes and retweets, which I never get on any tweets. And a lot of just people texting me, we loved the episode, giving me even feedback, which I loved. I'd have coaches in my life that would say, maybe try this or work on this. And it was just fun to kind of get a reaction from people, whether that was good or bad. Because I mean, sometimes people would disagree with what we were saying. I thought that was really cool. It just kind of sparked a reaction, which is all I could ask for. Welcome back to the Shot Quality Podcast. I'm Tucker Richardson here with Shot Quality CEO, Simon Gersberg. Simon, how are you doing today? Preparing for an interview is basically just coming up with questions and ideas that we're really interested in and kind of jotting them down. We don't always get to every question. A lot of times we come up with questions on the fly as the conversation flows. I think the best part of what we've done so far about it to kind of make us more comfortable is before the podcast starts, we usually have like a 10 to 15 minute conversation with whoever the guest is. The new podcast that we started in August of this year is the Shot Quality Podcast. And the reason it's called that is because my friend Simon, who's really into statistics, he started his own company called Shot Quality, which is like a basketball statistics analytical company. I definitely think that this podcast I, I put more effort in, into with editing and all that kind of stuff. I think Tucker has a natural uh, instinct. Uh, he, he's, he's really talented at, at everything that he does. He has a passion for certain things and those things that he has a passion for, he excels in. And I think so he has a, a natural poise to him uh, on the air. It's pretty clear when you listen to him that he's not just asking questions of the people that are his guests because they're his guests that he's done some homework. Obviously, it's always easiest to talk about what you care a lot about, so how he weaves basketball into those conversations um, makes a lot of sense to me. I think my favorite part about it was just creating something because, like I said, podcasts were something that I was really interested in, and it was always something that in the back of my head I kind of wanted to do, but actually putting it into motion was kind of cool because it felt like me and my friend Simon, it felt like we created something. I always think that there's, there's something to that. I think that anybody who's like an entrepreneur can get behind that. But when you create your own thing and you put a product out there, I think it's, it's kind of cool. So I thought that that was just like a very uplifting feeling, putting some, it wasn't too hard work and it was, it was fun, but it was, it was some work during quarantine to do. So I thought that was my favorite part about it, just like actually putting a product out there for people to listen to. 